with two points and playing for a state championship. And who knows what would have happened next year. Next year, we want to be there. We want to be playing for the team next year. That's got to be our big goal. So we're going to go ahead and get started by recognizing each one of our players. Uh, typically in the past, we've done a uh, certificate. We want to give them a medallion tonight. Uh, we're going to uh, ask that they would all remain on the stage as we do this. And we're going to begin with our seniors. So we're going to go through them all, and we're going to ask, if you will, to hold your applause when we get through with them all. Try to fit them all up here so that um, you can get one large picture. Some of your mamas are going to go to the back real quick and get it in, get your camera worked out, and we'll be ready to go. We're going to start with our seniors, number four, Caitlin Wilson. She'll come forward. Number 25, Edie Johnson. Number 26, Dempsey McGill. Number 23, Riley Burks. Number 21, Gracie Wilson. Then our long junior, number three, Gracie McGill. Number 15, Kelly Bauer. Number 11, Lana Gunn. Number 5, Raleigh Wolverton. Number 18, Georgie Gunn. Seven, Anna Grace Stewart. Number 19, Gracie Hammonds. Number six, Kylie Madden. Number two, Emma Smith. Seely Graham. Number 28, Harley Wilson. Number 10, Riley Myers. And our two stat ladies, uh, Malia Hollingsworth. Corey Kimball, and jumping back to two that I skipped, <laughs> number 31, Abby Wilson. God, it was her, right? <laughs> number five, Neely, I'm sorry, number 24, Neely Porter. Ladies, you can be 
seated. Tonight we're doing a follow our program. We're going to begin with uh, our middle school division awards. This year we're going to give out four division awards. Uh, before I give out those awards, I want to say this. We had a middle school team for the first time this year. It went really good. Uh, it went began to play into our uh, junior varsity, varsity season. So this year we're going to work on backing those games up just a little bit and try to get that in. Uh, we want to keep an emphasis on that, and we're thankful for being able to have that. I want to say before I give the awards also that each one of these young ladies improved dramatically from when we began season. Uh, they, they were able to hit the ball better, feel the ball, throw the ball. Uh, they just did a great job. So we're very proud of our middle school ladies. Uh, at this time, we want to begin uh, by giving our first award, which is the Junior High Offensive Player Award. Uh, it goes to a young lady who has a lot of potential to be a big asset for our team. This coming year, the Offensive Player Award goes to Ms. Hannah Bolwick. <laughs> The next award is the Defensive Player Award. It goes to a young lady who would uh, do whatever I asked her to do uh, with no hesitation. Uh, she showed a lot of determination every time she stepped on the field. She would really get after it, regardless as to what we called on her to do. The Defensive Player Award goes to Ms. Emma Smith. Most improved player, and again, we had to, I had to sit down and break down who improved the most on offense, who improved the most on defense and base running. I didn't really take a lot into consideration on this one. Uh, but this young lady, she, she got after it. She, she would do whatever. If I told her to, to do a backflip, guys, she would try to jump backwards. I mean, she was just that kind of girl. Uh, she done a great job, improved dramatically. Uh, can't wait to see what, what the future holds for her. Uh, but the most improved player award goes to Ms. Blaze Barnes. <laughs> Finally, the Middle School Bobcat Award goes to a young lady, uh, again, with great determination. She was shy when we began. Uh, she really didn't know about me. She was real nervous every time she got around me. I had to kind of get close to her sometimes and just put my hand on her a little bit. She, she thought I was going to bite her. I really don't know what went through her mind each time, but she began to warm up. She really came on. She showed a lot of grit, and she really got after it. Uh, the Middle School Bobcat Award goes to Ms. Briley Myers. Coachable. Obviously, they could take criticism, 
And they would respond with a yes, sir. We'll try to do that. Uh, these two ladies done a great job of filling their role on the team. And uh, on the back of each one of their medallions, we had team embroidery uh, or, or carved into that. And, guys, we preached team all year. We said there's nothing that you can do to make our team better. But as a group, we can all come together and make our team be more successful. Every day at practice, every game before we began, it was about team. It wasn't about me. It was about us and what we could do. And these ladies bought into that. And they went out and gave all they had for their team. These two specific young ladies filled whatever role, whatever purpose that was needed on their team. Uh, they understood what was going on. Uh, and from that, they would step into the role we asked them to do and were very, very successful. And they had the, the strongest mentality uh, of, of some of the people. Because when pressure hits us sometimes, we want to back down from it. They did. They stepped up. They didn't care what outside defense said. They knew what their team needed, and they accomplished what their team needed them to accomplish. So the first coach's award goes to Miss Gracie Wilson. The second coach's award goes to Miss Anna Grace Stewart. The next award is the most improved award. Uh, the most improved award for fast pitch goes to a young lady who improved dramatically offensively and dramatically defensively. She really began to learn the game this year. Last year she did well, but this year she could do what you what she needed to do without being told. Uh, she knew that when I caught the ball, I got to look to the bag because there's somebody on it. I need to turn a double play. Uh, she was she, she's become a softball player, uh, a very aggressive softball player. Um, from the beginning of the year to the end, y'all was such a huge change. Uh, she earned herself a starting position this year. The most improved player on the softball team was Miss Georgie Gellman. The next two awards, uh, we're calling them the Team Player Award. Uh, this award is one that I let the team vote on. Uh, they voted for two individuals uh, who stepped up and was what they could call a teammate. Uh, this player would lift them up. Uh, they would have a positive attitude. Uh, regardless of the circumstances, they were there doing something positive, doing something good. And it was so close that I couldn't decide on which one, so we just jumped out and did two. Uh, the first team player award uh, goes to Miss Edie Johnson. And the second team player award goes to Miss Gracie McDill. award is the Bobcat Award. This year we also voted for it uh, as a team. Uh, the Bobcat Award typically goes to a young lady who had to hear 24-7 what her daddy was trying to tell her. The good stuff that went on on the team, the bad stuff that went on on the team, and you know, just in general what was taking place. Um, a lot of times she got tired of hearing her daddy, and uh, I've heard daddies call me and say, well I've been on mine about this and this, and I stay on mine too. It's kind of a, one of those things that we want them to do better. We want them to improve. We want them to excel. And the Bobcat Award goes, uh, voted on by the team, goes to Abby Wilson. <laughs> the next award is the You Got Skills Award. This is a new one we added this year. And I felt like this young lady has skills. She's currently mad at me because I didn't recognize her in the junior high award session. But I thought to myself, what kid has skills like this girl has? This girl could run bases. She would pick up my signs when I would make them really, really invisible to everybody else. And then sometimes she'd go and I didn't even give the signs, but she'd be saying. 
She really got after this year and made us moving around the bases much more successful. If she was on second and somebody hit the ball out of the infield, we were storing the run. It was very beneficial to us. Um, so, so she's not mad anymore. The uh, You've Got Skills Award goes to Miss Cyrus. <laughs>
to be selected to the all-region team. Our first all-region player is Ms. Riley Wilberton. Our second all-region 17 is Ms. Riley Burks. Our third all-region team is Ms. Callie Bauer. Our fourth all-region team is Ms. Abby Wilson. And our fifth all-region selection was Ms. Neely Wolverton. This year advancing the South State got us to some other honors. Uh, two selections to the All-State 1A softball team. Uh, we were grateful to have two of those selections. One of our All-State 2021 players is Miss Riley Burks. The other selection uh, for All-State is Miss Neely Wolverton. of coaches chooses a junior softball player to play in the 1A, 2A, 3A uh, state team. Last year, Riley was chose to, to go to that team and play. She didn't get to go due to COVID, uh, but they are opening that back up for her to be able to play it for senior year. So I wanted to recognize Riley as a participant in the Mississippi Association of Coaches, an uh, all-star player. Um, she will be playing this summer in Ellisville at Jones Community College. So let's give her a round of applause. senior presentations as we uh, begin to wrap up our awards banquet. Um, on behalf of the coaches and the club, we, we, we want to say thank you to everybody for being here and coming and, and taking part. Uh, but we want to identify these seniors. And this was uh, on portion of the club uh, getting this put together. Uh, we are grateful for what our seniors do. They play the game for six years. They pour a lot of blood and sweat on the softball field, that cage, uh, running that big, tall hill you got up there. Man, that's a blessing. It's a uh, but they pour a lot of time and effort into all that they do. And uh, for that reason, we want them to come forward as we present them uh, with what the club has just purchased for us, a nice deal that they can celebrate their memories with. You'll come forward as we call your name, please. Uh, Miss Edie um, Johnson, lost it there. <laughs> Miss Dixie McDeal, Miss Gracie Wilson, Miss Caitlin Wilson. season. Uh, we had a tremendous one. Uh, we finished the year 25, 9, and 1. Uh, and it was done under these young ladies' leadership. For that, we're grateful and thankful. We arrived at South State this year for the first time since 2014. But I'm going to tell you, they got a taste of it, and they got a taste of it. And I think they like what they tasted. Uh, and they're, they're raring to go back and to even advance further. Uh, we hate that we're going to be losing these young ladies, but we are grateful and thankful for their leadership that they poured out. We had a great playoff series beating Nanawaya. They're moving to 2A next year. 
Uh, we beat Richardson, and then we came close to beating Stringer. And again, they're moving to 2A next year. Uh, but I have no regrets on this season. I'm grateful for each one of these young ladies and what they've done. We have a great group of seniors. If you will, give them a round of applause. There's an old saying that goes like this, all good things must come to an end. Uh, I've had the privilege of getting to coach with Coach Couture for the past three years, and I can truly say that he's had my back every step of the way. I've coached with some people I couldn't say that about, but he's always had my back. And that means a lot when you're coming from the head coaching staff. However, they can't last more than three years with me. I don't know what I do. <laughs> but I am grateful for the three-year period that we've had with Coach Couture. And on behalf of the club and uh, the softball team, we wanted to award Coach Couture with some nice memorabilia. So he'll never forget he got to coach the Lady Bobcat softball team. Let Coach Couture come forward and say a few words before we dismiss.
Number one, I hear some of the things you yell. <laughs> Say, I want to thank y'all for allowing us to work, work with you. Because if you were not willing to, to trust us, the accomplishments that they had made wouldn't even be possible. To my, to my players. No, I, I love you. I told y'all after, after the, uh, the tournament game against Morton, right? Whenever we got beat, everybody was feeling down and I told you then that I loved you. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of the things that you accomplished. I'm glad that you accepted me and allowed me to be a part uh, of that ride. Now, I'm not leaving. I'm still going to be in room 401. I'm just not going to be physically present with you every day of practice. I will always be proud of you. I will always support you. I'm always there for you when you need this, that, or the other. Okay? So no sad nothing. Okay? Get back to work. Go do the thing next year. Thank y'all for everything. I'm proud of you. Give them a round.